Hey guys, I'm back. And tonight I'm going to be giving you the step-by-step -step procedure for installing the Long Night mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. There's three files that you're going to need. Two of them are mandatory and one of them are optional. The first one, of course, is the Long Night mod version 3.8. This is the newest update on Nexus mods. The next thing you're going to need is Bannerlord Launcher. It's also on Nexus mods and the optional uh, download. There's a link uh, in one in the, one of the descriptions for Bannerlord lot uh, Bannerlord launcher that takes you to this sim link creator. Uh, you're gonna need this if you want to launch the game uh, through Bannerlord launcher connected to Steam, which will allow you to use a Steam controller if you want to do that. If you're playing with a mouse and keyboard, uh, then you then you probably you don't really need this. But these are the three three things to completely be able to do uh, set this game up for you. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to uh, unzip these files. So we just gonna, we'll unzip the long night first. I'm just gonna go ahead and unzip them to downloads. Okay, once you have that long night uh, version 3.8 file unzipped, you'll get this folder that says version. Uh, 512 full after buys whatever that says buy sable with old sandbox files this is the folder after it's unzipped what you do is you go inside here and you'll have a modules folder and a music folder we're going to go ahead and cut this modules folder and we're going to go to our c drive we're going to go into our program files we're going to go to steam then we're going to go to steam apps then we'll go to common and this is your mountain blade 2 banner lord folder what you're going to do is you'll go in here, and now you, you don't want to click on any of these folders. See this module folder? We want to overcopy this module folder. So what you want to do is just kind of go down in here, right-click, paste. Now it's moving uh, that whole folder into this folder, and it's going to overcopy this modules folder. Okay, you'll get this little... Uh, thing right here it says moving 5,000 blah 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 files to this uh, do you want you want to always say replace the files in the destination go ahead and do that okay once that folder has been over copied and put in there we're gonna go back to our downloads go back in the folder and now we're gonna cut this music out and we'll go right back to our C drive right back exactly where we're at we'll over copy the music Okay, paste. I believe the only music right now is just the main theme, the, the intro. So we can go ahead and replace that. Okay, so the as far as just putting the long night files in, that's all you have to do. It's in there. But now we got to be able to get your mod launcher set up so you can change the mod order to get this mod to work right. To do that, we want to go back to our downloads. We want to go to our uh, Bannerlord launcher zip file and unzip this. So once you get the get the Bannerlord launcher file unzipped, we have to find it. Okay, I have the Bannerlord launcher down here. This is going to be a just give you an application, a Bannerlord launcher application. What you want to do is you want to either cut or copy this. Go ahead and copy. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. And then we'll go right back to where we were. Back in the Steam apps, back in the Com, and back in the Mountain Mountain Blade, and you want to paste that application in here. So it'll be right here. So as far as running this, uh, as far as running it, this is all you have to do. You can go in here and click. See, I can go in here and click this Bannerlord launcher right here, and it'll go ahead and do everything I need to do to start and run this game. So if you want to stop right here, if you're using a mouse and keyboard, this is really all you have to do. All you'll have to do now, I'm gonna go ahead and just get out of here. But I, if you if you want to stop right here, what you need to do is just go in here. You can create a shortcut. You can take this little shortcut. We'll cut this and we can just paste it. We can paste it out here. See, now you got a Bannerlord launcher shortcut. This, this bypasses Steam. And he'll let you come in here and you could run the game. We'll go through this at the end, but I'm going to show you one other step before we actually get the mod order right.
I'm not going to be doing this. I'm going to go ahead and race this shortcut. I don't need that. So we're going to go right back in here. Let's go back to our downloads. We have this SimLink creator. This is going to allow it, uh, me to link the Steam uh, startup to the Bannerlord launcher, which will allow me to use my banner uh, my Steam controller uh, for this mod. So what you do is you want to just go ahead and just launch that. It's an application. You don't have to unzip anything. Say yes. It'll bring up this little box right here. And for the destination link, what you want to do is you want to go in to your C drive, program files. We want to go all the way back to back to Steam. Steam apps. Common into your Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. Now you want to go into this bin file. Then you want to go into this Win64 shipping client. Now you want to find the Banner Lord launcher uh, executable file that's down here. Let's see where it's at. Okay, here it is right here, tailworlds.mountainbladelauncher. I'm going to select that. Okay, now that it's selected, in the, that's the destination link. Now you want to, to link these together with the launcher, now you want to select, go back in, let's go back out. We're going to go back to my bin, go back to my Mountain Blade folder. I want to uh, link it with this Bannerlord launcher. So now these two uh, files are going to be linked. I'm going to create this link. Okay, once you create that link, you should be able to go over here and just go to your regular uh, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord icon on the screen and launch it. And instead of it going into the uh, Steam setup, it'll take you straight to the Bannerlord uh, mod launcher. Now that you, once you get here, you're not through. What you need to do, you have to get your mod orders right. The whole reason we downloaded the Bannerlord mod, mod uh, launcher is because it'll allow you to uh, change the mod orders. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take the long night, uh, long night core and put it first. Okay, I got my long night core put uh, put it first. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate it, make that little sword light up. The next thing you want to do is take your long night custom start optional and make it second. Go ahead and hit this little sword and light it up. Native sandbox core sandbox custom battle and story mode could all stay next. These last three, uh, you want to go ahead and activate them also. I always like to put the magic at the end. I don't know if it matters, but it seems to always work for me. So I just stick the magic at the end. So this is the setup. This is the mod order you want. You want long night core, long night custom start, native sandbox core sandbox custom battle story mode, long night content, long night map, long night magic. Once you get all these uh, set up in this order, you want to go down here, save, and it'll save this configuration. Say yes. Okay, now once you've got this uh, set up, you can go right up here where this little horse is, and it says play. And you can hit play. It's, it says your, your mods list has existing conflicts. So are you sure you want to run this game? Yes. Okay, let's let the uh, game launch pop fine. Uh, you know, if you got the Night King standing right here in the snow, you know everything uh, came in right. Okay, we'll go pick a game save file now and then just go ahead and launch the game and just see if everything loaded, the new map loaded correctly. Okay, looks like everything launched fine. We were successful in the installation of the Long Night modification. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.